Emerald ash borer is a non-native invasive beetle. It came from Asia and was first discovered in Michigan in 2002. And since then, it's spread all across the northeastern United States and as far as Colorado. And it's in almost every state in our region, with the exception of Delaware. It girdles and kills all species of native ash trees by feeding on the cambium, which is the part of the tree that draws water and nutrients up into the tree. It's usually really hard to see the actual emerald ash borer. The first thing you might see is woodpecker activity. The foliage in the tree will also start to thin out and die back. When the beetles exit the tree in the spring as adults, the D-shaped holes are really characteristic of EAB. When it kills trees, they become brittle very quickly, so it can cause a big safety hazard. Ash trees are riparian species for the most part, which means they grow along rivers, streams, wetlands, things like that. And so they're important for protecting water quality in a lot of cases. They help to filter out sediment and pollutants from our water. We don't want to lose the filtering power of those trees. The ash trees in the U.S. have never seen emerald ash borer before and therefore have not co-evolved with it and have no tree defenses. So emerald ash borer comes into the United States, they start feeding on native ash trees here, lay lots of eggs, develop well, survive well, cause lots of damage, and there are no natural enemies that are attacking the emerald ash borer. So you've got two things working in favor of the emerald ash borer. And since its arrival in Maryland, it's killed thousands and thousands of ash trees. Yeah, I, I we need to treat with chemicals to try to save some of our ashes, save the seed bank from the ashes, so we can keep them going once this big flush of emerald ash borer goes through. We're in the Hilton area of Patapsco Valley State Park. This morning we treated about 15 to 20 trees. We'll probably treat about that many again in the afternoon. There are a few chemical treatments that you can use to prevent your trees from dying from emerald ash borer. The most effective one is trunk injections of amamectin benzoate. Those are close to 100% effective if you treat the tree while it's still healthy. There are also some other treatment methods like soil drenches and soil injections. There are also biocontrols. Biological control is where we use the good bugs to control the bad bugs. So there are species of, of tiny parasitic wasps that attack either the eggs of the emerald ash borer beetle or the larvae of the emerald ash borer beetle. These are the parasitoids that we are releasing. Within so many years, we should hopefully have a more ecological balance where the parasitoids are able to keep the ash borers down to a level where they're not killing so many trees. To manage emerald ash borer and reduce the impacts of it, it's not an easy thing to do. So it also involves the public not moving firewood and being aware of this issue. It's going to be a collaboration of many, many people trying to solve and resolve the, the problem of emerald ash borer in the most environmentally sound way that we can.